Hello, uh, my name is Yulia and I'm currently applying for university um, and I'm looking to study film production. Uh, I thought it would be really helpful to make uh, videos like this um, talking about my university interview and portfolio experiences because uh, for me personally when I was looking for information on the university or how the interview process goes um, I didn't find much information on how it how it actually is. I found videos from the university explaining what they're going to do but no actual experiences from people who had interviews um, so I thought it would be really helpful to have this kind of video to um, kind of I guess calm people down um, or provide people with a little bit of more a little bit more information on kind of how the interview uh, or applicant day process goes um, because I know for me personally I was really nervous and I wanted to find a lot of information but I couldn't really so I don't even know if people are gonna watch this video, if they'll find this video, or maybe I'm the only one who searched for this kind of stuff, but um, I just want to help anyone who anyone who feels nervous or um, wants some more information on the interview and portfolio process. So um, I'm looking to study film production for university. So I submitted my application at the end of November, I think, and then my tutor sent it off um, on the 6th of December on the 6th of December and then on the 7th of December I received my first interview invite and it was for University of Creative Arts um, on the Farnham campus and it was an applicant day. So the difference between an applicant day and an interview um, is that on an applicant day um, you kind of get like a tour of the campus and like you get more information on the course whereas the interview and portfolio invites are more kind of uh, focused on your work and who you are and it's solely the interview and portfolio whereas the applicant day is kind of like an open day mixed within your interview. <clears throat> so I was invited on the 7th of December to come in for the 10th of January um, for my applicant day. So this was I think a week ago, yeah last week, last week on Wednesday I applied, uh, I went to the applicant day and um, I was really nervous, I was super nervous <clears throat> and when I arrived um, I think my my, interv <clears throat> my interview and portfolio check was at 9.30 so we were all gathered in the, court, uh, in the courtyard or the quad as they call it there um, and then we were all brought to this uh, lecture theatre and we just sat there and we had some student ambassadors and, so and uh, a lecturer and it was just talking to us, it wasn't anything serious, it was really 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 casual um, they were saying if you have any questions uh, just feel free to ask um, and then we got scheduled in for our individual interviews. So my interview was at 10.40 um, and the they lasted around uh, 15 to 20 minutes and I was really nervous. I was really, uh, I thought I was not really prepared but when I went in um, it was very 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 casual. So I came in and the guy was really nice. He asked me how I was at the beginning. I was like, I'm pretty nervous, um, but I think it will go a lot better than I'm imagining. And he's like, yeah, you'll be fine. So then one of the first things he asked me is, where else did I apply? So the other places I applied to are is uh, University of Arts Bournemouth, um, Hertfordshire, uh, University of Creative Arts, Ravensbourne, and University of Arts London. And he just commented on the location and stuff, but, uh, and that's it. And then he asked me, tell me about the course you're studying. And what I'm well, I'm studying a BTEC at the moment in creative media production, and then when he it wasn't anything. I didn't realize that the interview had started. That's how casual it was. Um, it was literally a conversation that we had. He's like, "Oh, just tell me like what are you doing on your course?" And I explained to him uh, what I'm going through, and that kind of slowly led in uh, to him asking, "Have you got any work to show me?" And uh, I had my portfolio. I had my showreel. Um, another thing, uh, I saw the attachment on the email that said that they would prefer to see one good piece um, one good piece or two good pieces instead of a showreel with music and I didn't realise that until I was going to bed the night before so I thought that they're not really going to like it so I said to him, I explained to him the situation, he was like no no it's fine and I showed him the showreel and he really enjoyed it he genuinely looked like he was interested and then he asked me what my favourite piece was and I explained to him my favourite piece, why it was my favourite piece, and I guess I kind of just babbled on about my work. Um, I think that's the most important part, is that they just want to see you talk about your work and express um, why you like it or why you don't like it. Um, and 
yeah just talk be able to talk about your work and elaborate and be able to show where your ideas generated from especially for something like film production um, in my showreel I had a variety of different moving images um, I had uh, two short films uh, two music videos and a promotional film uh, in a showreel I didn't show any pieces individually um, even though he asked for one favourite piece, I kind of talked about a few of them just because I enjoyed, for example, the production process of this one more or the post-production of this one more. And yeah, I think if you show that you're passionate about your work and that you know what you're talking about, that's the most important and crucial part. Um, and then he, and then I kind of said the part I didn't like or kind of my weakness. Oh yeah, he asked, yeah, uh, okay, uh, and kind of my weakness of parts that I didn't like. I said that I have a script for this short film but I don't want to show it because I don't think it's good enough and I don't like speech because I personally have trouble writing scripts because I think speech is quite a cheesy thing to write for me personally but uh, he said that's fine because on the course you learn how to write scripts and you learn about the process of script writing and I said yeah yeah of course um, and then that led on to me him asking me um, so on this course um, kind of what do you want to get out of it? I mean, yeah, what, what do you want to get out of this course? And I said, I really like the fact that you can specialise in production design because on my course it's not something that we particularly concentrate on and also uh, sound design is also another area that on a BTEC creative media production course you don't really concentrate on at all. It's not really a big part even though sound is is as important as visuals in film production. And then he asked what area of um, film production I like at the moment now. And I said that I like the editing process, the post-production process at the moment, but uh, I'm very open to trying out new things. He also asked me if I have any questions. My question was not answered. <laughs> um, I asked, so on the course, they, on, on the course, on the open day, they said that they have this uh, short course called uh, Avid 101 which is when they learn um, about the editing software and he said I'm not too sure about it that woman is your specialist over there and she was interviewing someone else I said oh okay but then he didn't really ask any more questions and I didn't really have many others in particular when I was talking about one of my pieces I showed him my he didn't ask for it but I decided to show him some of my pre-production work it was the thought process of me making my uh, short film and he said it was really interesting because the only thing that I showed him was like I called it like a brain dump a brain dump it was just something that came to my head and I quickly wrote it down and I didn't edit it or anything and I just went along with what I wrote um, and he said that was really interesting and he said that the work was nice that he enjoyed watching my show reel uh, and I was really nervous about that because I thought that he because I was stressing about the fact that I had a show reel and not um, two or three minutes of good pieces um, but it's nothing to stress about really honestly the interview was really really casual I I'm not joking when I say that I didn't realize that the interview had started um, until I was midway through babbling about my work because the way he phrased it it wasn't like question by question by question by question things really flowed with each other and it went really smoothly and I, you don't have to stress, you don't have to stress, you just have to, as long as you know your work and where it came from and what you're talking about and what your work is and what it's inspired by, um, that's all you have to do, that's all you have to know. Um, and that's it really, it literally revolved mainly about my personal work and what areas I enjoy or what areas I don't enjoy and yeah that was it, as long as you can talk about your work that's the most important part and that's my number one tip, just know your work and as long as you know where it's coming from and what it is, you'll be completely fine. It's honestly nothing to worry about, at least with the University of Creative Arts interview. Um, I'm not sure how other interviews are going to be. This is my first one and I have my, I have a Ravensbourne interview on the 24th of January and one for, <clears throat> and an interview for Arts University of Bournemouth on the 13th of February. Um, but honestly, it was a really nice interview. I was really happy after I finished it. Um, and yeah, that's it. And I hope you guys found this video helpful. Don't even know if anyone will watch it, but you know, it's worth a try and I would have found it helpful. So yeah, thank you.